And welcome back to another exciting episode of Beer Bros. You know why it's an exciting episode? No. We're getting fancy and picky out kind of style. We got some fancy ales. You ready to drink some beer? Yeah, sure. You're yeah, yeah, sure? Because he always seems so excited. I am. <laughs> Scottish. Yeah. Scottish. 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 Scottish.
Oh, yeah, it's Scottish Ale Stout. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, definitely has that. Maybe that's what I was smelling, kind of that. What do you say it's musty? I don't want to get the note wrong. Come on. I wouldn't say musty. It's a. Uh, it's just got the same flavor that it would call it in the Scottish Ale. Yeah, we, we, Scottish we, Ales. we quite enjoy it. Although it seems kind of a more traditional style where Scottish Ale's have. Uh, kind of smoother, silkier uh, texture to it. This is kind of traditional, regular, like you would grab a cabin and a different beer. Mm-hmm. Um, I quite enjoy it. It's light. You know, it still has a little bit of flavor to it. It uh, has that, like you said, Scotch, Scottish style or uh, taste to it. Quite enjoyable. Mm-hmm. I kind of liked it. What do you think? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Nice, fancy ale. Yeah, and a green bottle. And a green bottle. Mm-hmm. That you don't have to worry about. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I just paint. I did not have to we're going to move on to the third one here, which is uh, very, very special. Uh, I think you'll enjoy this one, Keith. I know, I know you look forward to it every year. We have... Why don't you look at it? <gasps> St. Arnold's Divine! <laughs> I have a couple of you to take that look at you. <laughs> so it's a Divine Reserve 14. Oh, and look, it's there on the green bird in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell on it. It's too small. <laughs> But no, you look forward to this every year, don't you? The, the divider service? Yes, certainly. And St. Arnold's is one of your, one of your favorite, uh, and one of my favorite as well, breweries. I forget about that. What? Okay. 14? That's your favorite brewery? You just got a screw top. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, this is lighter than, than uh, last year's reserve. Last year's was like a, a stout porter, right? It was a stout porter mix, I believe. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was a dark beer. So tell me a little about St. Arnold's and their Divine Reserve batch. Batches. Every mm-hmm. year they do a special batch. Uh, it's a one-time shot of beer. Sometimes the beer they carry on as they do the pumpkin eater. Pumpkin eater was Divine Reserve uh, Maybe? Somewhere around there? Uh, <laughs> and it carried so well that they turned it into a full seasonal brew. Yeah, so I, I wonder how this is going to taste. I mean, because we don't have anything more than just that it's an ale. So, uh, hand-carving microbrew ale. So let's give it a clinky. Clinky. Have a smell on the tongue. Mmm. Kind of a, a clove smell. Uh, do you get that? Yeah. A little tiny little bit. Okay. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Whoa. Added more punch then than I expected from the smell. Yeah, taste is very strong, much more of a spicy, clovey taste. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I see this and it's clear and it looks like it's going to be crisp and smooth and, and, it, and it's, it's full flavor and definitely there in your yeah. face. Wow, I kind of, it's yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what, what else do you say about it? I mean, it's, it's kind of a, almost a contradiction. It, it, it's from the sight and smell to the taste. I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised that it is a interesting flavorful beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, this might not be for the uh, uh, the brand new craft beer drinker because it's a, a little little in your face and a little flavor like the next Well, one. it's also up there in prices are all of these. Um, so that the introductory craft beer drinker is probably looking for Pat's Hoover. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this bottle here I got a six pack. It was seventeen dollars for a six pack. <gasps> That's not expensive. That's almost like their Divine Reserves as well as their Pumpkinator, which came from Divine Reserve, is worth. Yeah, and they, they put a lot of love and care into it, and, and yes, it, it is very worth it. Uh, uh, this is late springtime, early almost mm-hmm. summer, <laughs> and it kind of it kind of fits for it. it. It's it's almost summer. It's almost a light beer, but it's not. If that makes sense, it's not. Yeah, it, it is not. It's a very interesting taste, and given that, I think. For the uniqueness and uh, and drinkability of it, so I'm biased. Uh, St. Arnold's uh, Divine Reserve Number 14 is Chris's beer of the day. No, okay. Are you okay? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. All right, good. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and get any other notes for our fancy beers. <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Belga. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys very much for joining us. Come see us next time. Have a safe and happy summer. Thanks, thanks again. Uh, come and see us next time. Uh, be safe. Beer bros out. So, since the beer chaser split, is it okay if we chug?
Did you check one or two? Instead of okay, this from two directions. <laughs> one from Florida, one from Colorado. <laughs> Well, cool. And, and they're now more beer chasers, so... Yes, there are a lot of beer chasers. They're, they're, they're growing in numbers. How do we grow? Well, when the boy beer bro, <laughs> girl beer bro very, very much. <laughs>